Hello everybody and welcome to this month's episode of the Comics Etc. Direct Show. With Dr. Nick. <laughs> Hi everybody! No. That's a good Dr. Nick. No it's not. You should hear my homer. No! Alright, that's what copyright is going to cost us about $30,000. Yeah, let's see what the month is like for yes. July. Uh, I'm going to go first this time. But before we start, we have a bit of a competition we're running this month that we'll tell you at the end of the episode. So keep All watching. Better. Yeah. Um, you went first last month, so I want to go first this yeah, month. Yeah, didn't say no. Now, uh, this is the most diverse cart. Diverse. <laughs> the diverse cart that I think I've ever had. Yeah, what's a diverse cart? <laughs> I don't know. We're about to find out. Alright. But the reason why, I did it the way I've never done it before. Oh, wow. So when I do direct, I normally go to the top bar. Oh, wait. Let me just press screen record. Okay, you're cutting this out. Okay, so basically when I normally do Comics Etc. Direct, I go through and I just go, company, have a look, finish the company, go on to the next company. Yeah, normal. Well, no, this time I actually went through, and like alphabetically, went through everything just on one thing. Um, fun fact, I'll never do it again. Yeah, how long did that take? It took a long time. And I don't like manga, so I was like, oh, come on, let's go. It's a good um, way to sell it. <laughs> Hey, no disrespect if you like manga, it's just boring and not my cup of tea. Thanks. So, it will be alphabetical, but it will be backwards, and let's start. So, the first one I decided was the Woods Deluxe Edition. Um, it's an oldish book by James Tinian, and I chose it because when it first came out, I had no interest. Um, but now that Tinian's a bigger name, I'm curious what his early stuff's like. I'm hoping that's not the final cover. Yeah, but you're right. It's I don't know. quite boring. Yeah. It actually looks like one of those fake books you buy off, like, if you go on eBay or something, oh, and yeah. someone's made a cover. It looks real cheap. Yeah, it does, actually. So, uh, yeah, hopefully they fix that. Um, Ultimate X-Men 1, I put, just because I want to read all the Ultimates, at least the Volume 1s. This is the one I'm least interested in, but I do like um, Peach Momoko. Yeah, look, I think this one's been the most decisive, as in, like, people either love it or they don't like True. it at all. And I think it because you probably won't like it because it is a bit manga-style art. Yeah, but it's more Western manga, isn't it? Yeah, but you you don't like it, so you probably. <laughs> okay, like yeah, it. thanks, Dad. Um, Spider-Man by Joe Kelly. Now I chose this one because Joe Kelly, to me, deserves as much recognition for Deadpool as Liefeld. Right? Yeah, so Liefeld created Deadpool, but I feel that Joe Kelly's run gave him the humor that made Deadpool the one that everyone loves now. He does the same thing to his Spider-Man run, so I, I really want to reread that, so that's a good one. So that's been before, how long ago was it? Uh, it is from, this particular Omni's never been in print. Okay. Um, it says off it again because they wanted to bring it out like two years ago. Oh, okay. Okay, so Spider, Spider, Secret Wars Battle World. Now, I loved what they did with, did you know what they did with Secret Wars? No. Okay, so way back when in what, 2012 or whatever it was, uh, when they did the Secret Wars by Hickman. Which it sells very well. Yeah, so what they did is they splintered off a whole bunch of side stories set in the most famous stories of um, Marvel Comics. So Sorry. this one reprints, I'm just going to re... Oh, whoa. So yeah, it continues the 1602 universe, the Age of Apocalypse universe. The Renew Your Vows stuff where um, Spider-Man has a baby, Armor Wars. So basically they just cash in on their most popular storylines and they do it all in one book. Yeah. And they were just fun reads. So Omnibus really Volume 1, so there's enough to keep going on another one. Right? <sighs> yeah, I have a feeling that's going to be a bit of Marvel cash cow. That's not like um, them. Yeah, I know. Uh, Plastic Man, I've always been a Plastic Man fan. Yeah, it kind of looks Man like is? you, dumb hair, glasses. He's really like... smart, but funny at the same time. Definitely not you. Well, no, you just said he's me. Yeah, the look. That... I never said personality. Thank you. Yep, uh, I'm smart and wear glasses. Oh, I'd call you something else, not uh, plastic. <laughs> what if What if Donald Duck became Thor? That's really dumb. I just want to see what this yeah, stupidity it's... is about. Yeah. Like, Why not? It's just so dumb. Marvel, just bring out some Mickey Mouse comics, please. People are asking for that, not this one. Stuff. Yeah. Okay. Uh, JSA Compendium. Have you ever read the JSA stuff? Because you like Jeff Johns. I don't know him personally, but his stuff's alright. I don't know. Like Geiger is great. We sponsored him at a convention once. So oh, we can with convention. Yeah. We're best friends. Um, no, JSA is very early um, stuff that he's done. It's good. I'm curious how it's aged, so that's why I really want to read it. 
if it's as good as what I remember it to being, it's going to be fantastic superhero stories. And if it's aged like you, terrible. <laughs> So what's the difference here on this Fantastic Four? Oh god. Um, okay, so... <laughs> the Fantastic Four Full Circle Edition. Because that's been out before. Sorry, I'm just trying to cope with some very hurt feelings right that's now. That's alright. Okay, so... I, okay, so I clicked on it because it says here the original graphic novel was only 64 pages yep. and this has 288 they, additional pages. What did they find? A whole new book. So I'm assuming it has like all sketches and stuff like that. So, um... It's expensive, but if you're getting an extra 288 pages. Oh yeah, okay. So it must be, is it oversized or has, is it? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. But 288 pages for that price, I think is good value for money. Because I remember the uh, the one that brought, the first one they brought out was about, it was quite large. Yeah. If it wasn't normal trade, yeah. it was maybe like a black label size book. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, now, we should mention what it is. It is Alex Ross, the artist extraordinaire who does the Usually best does paintings. covers. He did a rare, like, full comic where he adapted his favourite Fantastic Four comic. Um, and he, he doesn't do internal artwork anymore, that's why yeah. this was a big deal. Um, and it was great, so I'm curious to see what the extra pages are. Department of Truth, because it's the best comic. Yeah, and we've talked about it yep. before, but it's selling very well, the hardcover. Yeah, it is actually. Mm. Alright, so these ones I put in here just to mention to you guys. So this DC Finest, Wonder Woman Origins and Amp. Oh, one Origins. of these editions. <laughs> Uh, DC Finest Superman First Superhero and DC Finest Batman Year One and Amp, Amp, Amp. 2. Basically, these are DC's latest trade paperback convention, I want to say. It's their version of the Epic Collections, where oh, they're yep. doing um, much thicker books yep. for a, I'm going to say, somewhat reasonable price. Yeah. I wonder if they do the same really annoying way of calling them volumes like Marvel does, which don't even make yeah. sense. Now, you know what? I actually think these will be good value for money because this has stories from Action 1, 1 to 25 and Superman 1 to 5, so that's got the potential to be a pretty thick book. Yeah, I wonder if they'll be about the same size as a... a yeah. yeah. Um, so they're... They're good they for people good. that want to start. Yeah, I think they chose good storylines to start that run. Mm -hmm. The Dark Web Omnibus, because this is one of the rare crossovers that I like, including the extra issues. So I enjoyed the main story, but I also enjoyed all the extras that spun out of it. It's very rare that you can say that, so um, I recommend that one. It's a Spider-Man X-Men storyline, by the way, where um, Ben Riley is goes to the Inferno dimension with Madeline Pryor. Cool. Do you have any idea what words I just said? I don't. Ben Riley, hung out with him a bit, but yeah. I don't. <laughs> oh yeah, alright, sweet. Uh, Daredevil Modern Collection, because it's a continuation of the groundbreaking Bendis run, where his secret identity gets revealed to the world. And if you ask me, it's the most realistic secret identity reveal in comic history. Mm. Yeah. It gets undone, I wish it didn't. Uh, brand new Charles Burns. Yeah, oh. I've got this in mind. Yeah. It's copy. Best friends? Nope. Yep. Uh, Blood Hunt, I read issue one. And oh, okay, I'm you hate vampires see. and you keep going on about it, but you put it in your cart. Makes if you sense. must know, it's because people in the comments said it's actually a good story and I'm believing our viewers, unless I don't like it, and I will never believe uh, one of you ever misled again. You. So I'll never do that. Oh, this is all the same. This is going to be silly. Now, no, I'm... Okay, you talk about the actual story. I'm actually... This is in here to tell you guys something. You can tell about it. Be warned. Batman The Long Halloween, The Last Halloween Issue Zero is a reprint. Oh, it tricked me. Of the book that came out last year that Tim Sale oh, actually did. Oh, the special did. that they, yeah. yeah. So before Tim Sale passed away. Is that last year? Oh, a couple of years ago now. <laughs> um, he did a one-shot special for The Long Halloween. This is that reprinted. So just be warned. Okay, so the only thing that gave that away was the logo because they've been using it on the trade. So I actually did think is this something that's been out before, yep. so got me. Yeah, so I'll let you talk about it though. No, it's fine. Um, the Batman Day Detective 27 facsimile, because if you have never read the first appearance of Batman, you should. It's horrible. It is one of the worst, con it is so bad. You're hurting a lot of people's how, feelings probably. How, if, read a Golden Age comic, and you will wonder how comics have lasted hundreds of, like a hundred years. Comics were awful back then. Yeah. Fun times. All right, now this is my most, I can't wait, this is my best book of the month. So it is an Asterix 65th anniversary issue, well, issue, hardcover, I actually don't know, it's a hardcover, 
where they get people who don't normally do asterisk stories to do asterisk stories. That's really You've weird. got Jim Lee, Ian Churchill, oh wow, Milo Manara doing an asterisk Whoa, story. Oh, that's going to be a naughty asterisk. Terry Moore, Frank Cho. Oh wow. Yeah, like we've all read asterisk. We all grew up yeah, on asterisk. Yeah, I did. And now finally we get to read some stories by creators who you never think would do an asterisk story. Um, and it's actually quite cheap, so... I wish they'd do that with Tintin. That would be amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man Epic Collection, The Web of Life, Web of Death. It's a Ben Riley story, but the reason I'm... This is my first Spider-Man I've ever read, so I want to reread it to see how horrific it is. How it aged. Yeah. Again, like you. Uh, <laughs> um, happy birthday, by the way, for this week. Who cares? Okay, good. Now, um, I needed to point this out. Uh, superstar Australian artist Nicola Scott did a whole bunch of covers for King's Comics down in Sydney. How's it going, guys? A Batman for... Detective, Yeah, Detective it? for Detective 1000 yeah. did like a whole mm -hmm. cover of like all these costumes. She did a Wonder Woman one for them. And I think there was a third one? Yeah, I can't Let remember. us know in the comments if you can do... Superman, Superman? I can't remember. Um, but the nice folks at King's and Nicola no. have... Have decided to like, her covers are amazing, so she's now doing a whole range of them for the month. And I think you're a fool if you don't buy them. There's the Supergirl one, I just did this one as an example for Action Comics. Um, you should really buy them just to support a local covers. artist, and they're really good covers. The amount of work and research that would have gone into these is phenomenal. And then my yeah, last. What's this thing? So, uh, Chris Ware, I don't like independent books that much. Chris Ware, I think, is a genius. Um, and this is all of his Acme novelty. Don't even know anything about it. Really good. Mm. Um, fantastic stories, really arty. It's, they're so sad. But yeah, so he's got... Um, Whoa, it's expensive, but it must be nice. $210, it's expensive yeah. for some people. Um, so my car this month comes to $1,475. Uh, if we were to buy that for full price, that would be probably about, I won't say three grand, I'd say two and a half grand. So I'm saving about a thousand bucks. That's amazing. You too can save it if you shop over at comicsetcetradirect.com.au. All right, so first in my shopping cart is something that I'm so happy is finally out. The Extremity hardcover. They here. heard. The people have. They're watching our shows. Yep, they, yes. Well, probably not. Well, but they probably are. Yeah, very happy that because we talked about. Oh my god, what is that? That name? is Daniel voice. Warren Johnson. Yep. We talked about. Can you stop putting your foot near mine? Um, he did all those wonderful Dead Earth, and yeah, we, we were talking about everything was in print except for a few, and this one was one of them that they never did in a hardcover. Yep. And finally. Yeah. That's it, because they yeah. listened to our first month of shows. No, and one of your most hated things, yeah, cool. anger. So yeah. I love Fist of the North Star because it's just hilarious and. So does he have one hand that's a fist? He, it's so star. brutal. He can, no, he can punch. When he punches, it can like blow you up. It's so brutal, really? but you don't care. You don't like manga. So we won't waste our time. This one I got because I, those distillery yeah. books look really cool and they've got some Somnar. big names on them. Yeah. So this looks cool because it's a hardcover and it's so oversized. It, it, what does that mean by reserve edition? Yeah, look. Let's have a look because it's interesting that it's number one. So it's a single issue hardcover. So, oh, it is too. It's not actually. Yeah, yeah. It's not the whole thing. So, what are you wasting your money on that for? Well, because people like I like seeing. You know, it's got it's different. It's a different side of it. You see it like as it was drawn before. Yeah. yeah so it's it's got a lot of extras which you'd want for a forty. Well, fifty four on direct for a, yeah. But yeah, interesting. Okay. I, 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 that's why I just want to see what it's like. No judgment. Uh, this is a nerd part that I've added to the to PC Engine box art collection. Would you like to borrow my glasses? Nope, because can you, you put like them to, back on? I, no, I still want to be able to function. If you take them off, I get sick. Um, so the, yeah, the PC Engine box art. This is cool because they do. They've done these for a lot of things. They've done them for all consoles. They've done GameCube, and yeah, they're just cool books to have yep. on your coffee table or yeah. you know something to look at and go, yeah, I'm a nerd. Yeah. This one looks amazing. So it's a Halloween oh, okay. illustrated novelization, and Halloween is my favorite movie. Yeah. The original, not these new attempts. They weren't bad, but yeah, this looks really interesting. So you're and gonna have to actually read a book like a big boy. Well, I've read books. Oh really? You're not some Grub genius. Grub doesn't count. He played soccer. He's done a lot more than you. 
And he can play soccer, you can't. Dakota? Uh, so yeah, Charles Burns did the same because yeah. I enjoy his art and the stories. Wait, we should just explain. So Charles Burns, is it's an independent book, it's black and white, he does really good horror, mm. and he only does stuff like once every other year. Like, what was decade? the one that... Oh, it's been out of print again, which was dumb because Always it dumb. sells There's really Black good. Hole That's X. the one. Black Hole is a great read. Yeah. But Black Hole's amazing, actually. Yeah, I'm shocked that they. it's really hard to get anything. Yeah. And yeah. I'm making a mental note right now to find mm. out who publishes it and try to contact them. I think them. it's Fantagraphics, I thought. Oh, okay. This next one was interesting. So, Something is Killing the Children Zero, which I think is a prequel? Oh, really? I mean, yeah, I believe You'd so. You hope so, being a zero. Well,. It's been oh, five no. years since you looked at me. It is. Yeah. And twice. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so this... So five years. It's been five years. Wow. Yeah. It's been... That's crazy. Uh, Hellboy. Well, I'll get anything Hellboy because Mignola is great. Yeah. And these are good. They collect um, a bunch of the soft covers that they do. Yeah, good. Which... Oh, so the more, the more of the thicker on the stuff. So ones. it's a hard cover. No, it collects the thin. Yeah. Um, because they always do them by year, and then finally they always combine them, and yeah, they're good. Yep. Nice hard covers. Dark Horse, you do a great job of your hard covers. Yeah, you do your soft covers. <sighs> this next one, I already own the best. Oh, I didn't yeah. know that. So, unfortunately, there's no picture though. Let's see if you click it, whatever. No, it's just a white box. So they didn't really. Uh, so they didn't really release. It. By the way, if you go yeah, into direct. This. I get comments about it all yeah. the time. Yeah, and I understand yeah. because people would like to see sometimes some of the art, but... When there's no cover, it's because they haven't released any artwork. So it's not the case of us being, being lazy, lazy or haven't or... picked anything. We legit then go through solicitations and find out if they have missed any, it's very rare. It's because the company hasn't supplied any artwork. And we don't have time to draw like a dummy <laughs> yeah. picture. I can't, I'm not good at drawing. But yeah, Revival is a great comic if you like Walking Dead. And... What, what's it about? It's a town where people just start coming back to life, mm -hmm. but there's no context. So, for example, one of the main characters, her sister that died, just shows up. And yep. everyone thinks, oh my god, this is amazing, but then slowly stuff, you start oh. realising they're not who they were. And yeah, I love it because they always go back to the characters from the town and they never, like, they don't forget people. So they'll always keep you in touch with what the person's doing and the art's great. Fun fact, Remy's one of his most famous favourite comics of all time. He has a revival tattoo. Yeah, I'm not going to show it. Yeah, it's, well, I wonder where it is. Uh, uh, no, don't. So this one looks really interesting, and I started reading the first issue. It's Batman First Night, the hardcover. The art looks really cool, and it's, um, it's I think it's like an Elseworlds story. Yeah, like noir. Yeah, Batman it's really cool. Detective. He's like in mobster era, yeah. and yeah, it's like... I enjoyed the first issue, the art's very good, and I love all the Black Label stuff. And side always... comment, I miss the days where Batman was a detective. Batman? Yeah. He's not a detective enough, he's more of a superhero. Let's go yeah. back to the detective days, please. And this one's one of an oldie, like, so I yeah. really like um, Neil Adams and Mike Grell. Like, I don't read much Green Lantern, but mm. I read a lot of the stuff in here, I've read some of it, and Danny O'Neill is great as well. Yeah. I really liked um, all his stuff. And yeah. yeah, this looks like a cool omnibus. Now, a bit of housekeeping for this. This was still elicited a long time ago. Um, if you've already ordered it, don't worry, your order stands. Um, but they're just redoing it with a new cover. Okay. But yeah, if you've already ordered it, you don't have to worry. Yeah, so yeah, always got time for that team working on something like that. And well, there's the long Halloween, which now is embarrassing. So you probably remove. So that what is one. it though? Yeah, it's a comic. So it's the. It's one if you like haven't read. If you're coming into Batman and you've never read any, it's definitely one of the first Batman yeah, so you it's, should read. It's a sequel to it's the last Halloween, Dark, Dark Victory, Victory, Haunted yeah. Night. It is um, Jeff Loeb f finishing the series. But apparently. tell them. Uh, Tim Sale unfortunately died um, before he could even do any of the series. Yeah. So each issue will be a revolving creative team that uh, will, I don't know if they'll mimic his style or just have their own style, but um, yeah, so I don't know how, how many issues it's going to be. Um, hopefully it's 12 as well. But um, I think it'll be a really good send off for. But tell them about Long Halloween real quick. So Long know. Halloween is set uh, around year one of Batman once every uh, public holiday starting on Halloween. 
a serial killer is going around killing someone in Gotham, so it's hard for Batman to figure out who it is because he knows when it's going to happen, but he knows nothing about it. So there's like Valentine's Day, yeah. St. Patrick's Day. It's, it's so very good. To find out who the killer is. And the art is very good. Amazing Tim Sale artwork. Yeah. Uh, Ultimate X Men, same reason as you. Yep. Want to check it out? Looks different. Yep. Predator. Because I like Alien Predator yeah. and Last Hunt, because I think this is the last for the arc, or even, yeah, Who they're. Knows? Yeah, look, I'm not a massive fan of. I get that they've been doing them as mini, it's always four issues, four issues, four issues, but yeah. I don't like that they don't make it distinct enough because I've yeah. had multiple times people coming up with a couple issues from different series, but there's no way of telling, so they'll come up. And you have to go, oh, hang on, this is not going to make any sense if you buy these. Sell it anyway, take that money. No, not rude and care. Yeah. So, and the last one is just because Marvel Zombies are always fun to read. Yeah, I was wondering about this one because this one looks like a kid's comic. Looks a bit yeah, childish. Yeah, I think because so... it's got Groot. Yeah. And yeah, but they're, they're always fun. And We've got Groot cool. right here. No, this, awful this table would be, wobbling. look how weak oh, it is. God. Like, if that was Groot, oh, it wouldn't last. I hate the table. It's like bark. Yeah. But yeah, that was my uh card what, do you, what, it to, what it comes to, what it comes oh, to. I'm not as silly as you. I probably didn't even make 741? Yeah. No, that's an expensive one for you. You have yeah. to work overtime. Well, look, it's saving though. What would it cost if... Oh, yeah, that one. Yeah, I reckon you... have to work like 60 hours or yeah. something. Yeah, it's pay that off. I reckon you save about 500 bucks. So if you also want to save 500 bucks, where can they do it? Comics, etc. direct. Com.au. <laughs> as he says, don't do that laugh, it's sick. <laughs> and um, why, why don't you tell people about the uh, competition that you're taking further? Yeah, sweet. So we are running a competition uh, in the lead up to getting 500 followers on uh, YouTube. All what you got do to, do, to do? What do the people have to do? Just subscribe. Leave a comment on any video so we know that you're not a bot. So easy. And you will go into the running to win either a $200 gift card for comics, etc. Direct or comics, etc. It's up to you. The winner can decide. And it's as simple as that. And we will draw it as soon as we get to the 500 magic number. Yeah. So good luck. Good and luck. And uh, remember, save on direct. Yeah. And we will see you next month.